Among swords from around the world, the Japanese katana is famous for its sharp, cutting edge. The Japanese, generally small in stature and not as physically robust, did not rely on the weight of their swords to slash like Western swords, but instead focused on developing the sharpness of the katana for slicing. There are numerous stories and anecdotes about the sharpness of these swords. In this video, we will introduce the top five sharpest katanas in history. Number five, Honobami Toshiro. Honobami Toshiro is a famous Japanese sword designated as an important cultural property. It is known for its fearsome sharpness with an anecdote that casually swinging it could shatter an opponent's bones. Among Japan's historical swordsmiths, the top three are called the Tenga San Saku, and one of them, Toshiro Yoshimitsu, crafted this sword. Originally made as a naginata, it was later reshaped into a katana through grinding. The katana has an overall length of 28 inches, and a blade length of 23.1 inches. On the surface, it features an engraving of a dragon entwining around a kurikara sword, which is the sword held by the standing statue of Fudo Myo, a Buddhist deity. The dragon wrapped around the sword is said to be an incarnation of Fudo Myo himself. This sword, made in the Kamakura period, was a treasured possession of the Ashikaga shogunate, which ruled Japan during the Muromachi period. In 1565, during the Eiroku incident, the 13th shogun, Ashikaga Yoshiteru, known as a master swordsman, was assassinated by the Miyoshi trio. The sword was stolen during this event. Hearing this, Otomo Sorin claimed that the Otomo family was its rightful owner and bought it back for 3,000 gold ryo, equivalent to about 300 million to 900 million yen in today's value. However, later, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, the unifier of Japan, sought the Honobami Toshiro, and it came into his possession. It was then treasured in the Toyotomi family's first ranked treasure box. In 1615, during the siege of Osaka, Osaka Castle was set ablaze, and amidst its fall, the sword was miraculously found unscathed in the castle's moat. After being coveted by various feudal lords, it ultimately became the property of the Toyokuni Shrine. The name of the sword derives from its sharpness. In the Kyoho Meibutsucho, a list of famous swords from the Edo period, the origin of the sword's name is noted as being due to its incredible sharpness. Capable of breaking bones just by pretending to cut towards someone. Honobami means bone eater in Japanese, signifying a sword so sharp that it could consume bones. This sword is thus named for its extraordinary cutting ability. Number 4. Kotetsu Kotetsu is a Japanese katana said to have been owned by Kondo Isami, the leader of the Shinsengumi. This sword was crafted by a swordsmith of the Edo period who shared the same name, Nagasone Kotetsu. Since the specific Kotetsu used by Kondo Isami does not survive, its details are unknown. However, the swordsmith's style is characterized by a slight curvature and a bright steel that forms the body of the sword. Kondo Isami was the leader of the Shinsengumi, a group of elite swordsmen formed to maintain order in Kyoto during the turbulent end of the Edo period. Kondo Isami, renowned for his unmatched skill with a real sword, was a warrior suited for actual combat. He was also known for his love of swords, often discussing them whenever he had the chance. A notable event that brought fame to both him and his sword was the Ikedai incident in Kyoto. This was an attack by the Shinsengumi, a security force of the shogunate, 
on a group of pro-emperor anti-foreigner samurai gathered at an inn. The Shinsengumi, with only four members, including Kondo, stormed the inn where over 20 samurai were plotting against the Tokugawa shogunate. In the fierce battle, two of the Shinsengumi were wounded and withdrew, leaving Kondo and one other to fight until reinforcements arrived. Kondo emerged unscathed from the battle, as did his kotetsu. After the incident, he wrote in a letter to his father in his hometown that while the swords of the other members were badly damaged, his own life was saved because his sword was a kotetsu. Today, swords made by Nagasani Kotetsu are permanently exhibited at the Iwakuni Art Museum in Yamaguchi Prefecture. Number 3. Tombokiri. The third position is held by Tombokiri, which, while not a katana, is said to be the spear with the finest cutting edge among all Japanese spears. Among the many spears, the top three renowned as the Tenka Sanmen Sol include this spear. It was crafted by the swordsmith Fujiwara Masazane during the Muromachi period and is famously known to have been used by one of the strongest warriors of the Warring States period, Honda Tarakatsu. Tombokiri is a spear, but it is not limited to the typical image of a thrusting weapon. The blade part is 17.2 inches long, 1.2 inches at its widest, and 0.4 inches thick, resembling the appearance of a sword. The blade shaped like a bamboo leaf, is excellent for thrusting and creates a wide wound upon penetration. This spear, which is nearly 20 feet long, was carried into battle by Honda Tarakatsu, who supported his lord Tokugawa Ieyasu. While it was common for swords and spears to change hands among multiple owners during the Sengoku period, this spear remained a personal favorite and a hallmark weapon of Tarakatsu from the age of 16 until his death. One legendary battle involving Tarakatsu and this spear was the 1584 Battle of Komaki and Nagakute, where Tokugawa Ieyasu confronted Toyotomi Hideyoshi. Initially assigned to guard the rear, Tarakatsu upon learning of his lord's perilous situation against Hideyoshi's massive army, led a small force of just 500 men to the battlefield, armed with his spear Tomunkiri. He boldly confronted the large enemy force across the river, and in a daring display, rode into the river alone to allow his horse to drink. Impressed by Tarakatsu's brave and loyal actions, Hideyoshi reportedly ordered his men not to harm him. The name of the spear comes from a legendary incident. During a battle, as Tarakatsu rested with his spear planted in the ground, a dragonfly flew and landed on its tip, only to be split in two. This incident gave rise to the spear's name, Tombokiri, meaning dragonfly cutter. After Tarakatsu's death, the Tombokiri, along with his iconic helmet, was passed down through his descendants. However, during World War II, it left the family and is now entrusted to the Sano Art Museum in Mishima City. The spear was displayed in January 2015 for the first time in 11 years. Number 2. Heshikiri Hasabe Heshikiri Hasabe is a sword that was possessed by the famous warlord Oda Nobunaga, known as one of the three great unifiers of the Sengoku period. This katana was crafted by Hasabe Kunishige, a swordsmith active during the Nambokucho period. The blade length is 25.5 inches, with a base width of 1.2 inches and a tip width of 0.98 inches. The wide blade width coupled with the thin blade thickness, is a characteristic feature of the swords from this era. One of the highlights of this sword is its notare, a wavy, undulating pattern on the blade, which, along with the blade's edge, has similar tempering patterns. 
this aspect of the blade is among its most distinctive and admired features. There is a famous anecdote about Nobunaga, the owner of the sword, demonstrating its sharpness to the world. During the Sengoku period, a monk who was one of his retainers committed an act of disrespect. Enraged, he pursued the monk, who fled and hid under a shelf. When Nobunaga discovered the hiding place, he drew his sword and pressed it against the shelf where the monk was concealed. Astonishingly, the blade cut through the shelf and the monk's body. At the time, the action of pressing and cutting was known as Heshikiri, and hence the sword came to be known as Heshikiri Hasebe. Normally, Japanese swords require a pulling or pushing action against the target to cut, making this incident not only a testament to the sword's sharpness, but also a reflection of Nobunaga's ruthless character. Regarding the sword's subsequent ownership, it is said that Nobunaga bestowed it upon Kuroda Kambe. Kambe was a genius strategist known for his wit, political skills, and exceptional negotiation abilities, serving under Nobunaga and Toyotomi Hideyoshi. This sword, passed down through generations in the Kuroda family, was designated a national treasure in 1953. In 1978, it was donated to Fukuoka City by the wife of the 14th head of the Kuroda family. Since then, it has been carefully preserved at the Fukuoka City Museum. Number 1. Dojikiri Yasutsuna Dojikiri Yasutsuna is the premier blade among the Tenkogoken, the five best swords under heaven, and is designated as a national treasure. The Tenkagoken represents the five most exemplary swords in the history of katana. This sword, one of the earliest in the history of Japanese swords, was crafted during the Heian period by the swordsmith Ohara Yasutsuna, known as the pioneer of swordsmiths. Dojikiri Yasutsuna measures 31.5 inches in blade length, 1.1 inches in base width, and 0.8 inches in tip width characterized by a strong curvature and a broad blade. The blade pattern is a small wavy line known as ko mirare. The name Dojikiri originates from a legend involving the warrior Minamoto no Yorimitsu, who is said to have slain the demon Shuten Doji, one of the most famous demons in Japanese folklore. During the Heian period, Shuten Doji and his demon followers were notorious for abducting people and committing evil acts in Kyoto. Yonimitsu received an imperial order to subdue these demons. He infiltrated the demon's stronghold and hosted a banquet, serving wine laced with poison. As the intoxicated demons became immobilized, Yonimitsu used his sword to finish them off, beheading Shuten Doji with it thereby giving the sword its name Dojikiri, meaning Shuten Doji Cutter. Before being named Dojikiri, the sword bore the ominous name Chisui, blood-sucking, reminiscent of a cursed blade. During the Edo period, a practice known as Tameshigiri was conducted to test the sharpness of the finest Japanese swords. This involved stacking the bodies of deceased criminals and determining the sword's sharpness by how many bodies it could bisect. The Tamishigiri for this sword was performed by the swordsman Machira Chodayu. When this sword was swung at the stacked bodies, it is said to have cleaved through six bodies and even cut into the wooden base beneath them. These tales attest to the extraordinary sharpness of this sword. Currently, this sword is housed in the Tokyo National Museum, the largest museum in Japan. There, exhibitions featuring Dojikiri Yatsutsuna are frequently held, allowing the public to witness this legendary sword. We hope you enjoyed this exploration into the world of Japanese swords. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting content about the history of Japanese swords. 
Until next time, sayonara. Sayonara.